Hello everyone, it's Dranina here and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Um, we have concluded a couple of things. First of all, if we shut down the electricity, then the neighbor will go outside. Which is quite beneficial. So... Cool. Uh, crouch. Um, we will see the door opening, the front door, if he goes through the front door. Which I kind of suspect he will do. Isn't he going to the front? Sounds like it. He was further along than I thought he would be. Okay. So, the car's probably there for a reason. Like a way to hide behind something for the neighbor. Mom. I hear him, I hear him. He's after me, he's after me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Where did he come from? He saw me in the house, I guess? Open the door. <gasps> Crap, he saw me. I can't get out. Like, how is he able to jump through windows? And I'm not. <sighs> Wait, what? Alright, that was scary. But his front door is open. Is he outside then? I don't know. I don't know where he is and his front door is open. It doesn't seem to be in the kitchen. Oh, he is over there, so he's walking towards the front door. What is he going to do? Alright, so he is... ...being around his house. And I was too slow. That's a little shame. I just got a feeling I just need to walk in there. I don't know where he is. Right, so he's going to the back of the house. It's over there. So can I? Big question. Just open up the front door. Yes, what is it? Uh, and my name is Ellison. This is Harry Jarvis. We're from the Morning Chronicle. I wonder if we could come in for a minute. Well, I am rather busy. Uh, now he's going to move like move right along to McGregor. <laughs> Goodness me, up here. It looks great. What are you saying? There's a lock here. Storage room. He is sleeping. He's, I think, on the other side of this room. Oh, 
All right, we're in. Professor McFarland? Yes, what is it? Uh, and my name is Ellison. This is Harry Jarvis. We're from the Morning Chronicle. I wonder if we could come in for a minute. Where is he? Well, I am rather busy. He's outside. Uh, now he's going to move like right along to McGregor. That's <laughs> all like, you know. Good to see you. Oh, you look great. What are you saying? inside we've seen <laughs> so we've seen some things like I think we need to be in that room or somewhere there like no where should we be that's the big question hmm so you have this wide door that opens up in a living room which is where he is most of the time. Or he's in that room back here, which seems to be his bedroom. Oh, that's the bedroom and you have a kitchen here. He's actually sleeping now, okay. Nothing in here. Well, I am rather busy. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Alright, we got these things. Don't know what we'll be doing with them. <gasps> Can we get out through one of the windows? I don't think so. And he's inside, you can hear him clearly. I don't know, actually I won't want to don't want to hear anything. <gasps> I think he's in the cross room. I use the toothpaste, please? Why do I have toothpaste when I... Oh, it's actually throwing something? It's something I could throw at him. Okay. So we know that. can't use my ball either, can I? No, I can't. Which is a rather shame, because I would love to throw my ball through one of the windows, make him mad. No, he's coming back almost immediately, so it's... Going in. And going through this room. I wonder if we could come in for a minute. Well, I am rather busy. 
Now he's going to move like right along to McGregor. That's his whole life. Good Good thing in here. Look great. Where are you stationed? I haven't gotten around to giving a straight answer to that one in four months. Well, your clearance, you know already. I'm exec of the ComCon, Chief. The ComCon? Yeah. It's like why? Don't blame me for your orders. Come on in. There's actually a light over there. I threw the cup. It just wasn't enough. Which is a little bit of a shame. Also, he moved. It's not really nice of him. I really want to go back in there. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. Darn it. I hear the door. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. He's going towards the crafts room. To another weapon. I haven't gotten around to giving a straight answer to that one in four months. But with your clearance, you know already. I'm exec of the ComCon, Jake. The ComCon? Yeah. Site wide. Hmm, so I can't Don't really rotate between them, it seems like. He went outside, I guess that means. Professor McFarland? Yes, what is it? Uh, my name is Ellison. This is Harry Jarvis. We're from the Morning Chronicle. I wonder if we could come in for a minute. Well, I am rather busy. Uh, now he's gonna move like right along to McGregor. That's his whole life. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Looks great. Where are you stationed? I haven't gotten around to getting a um. for that one in four months. I think I need to get in that craft's room. I hear him walking. And to me it sounds like he's to my right outside. I just kind of sit tight for a moment because, you know, I'd rather not get caught. It's he's inside. Bedroom. The other side of this room. Okay. Sleep, it sounds like. Yes, what is it? Uh, my name is 
Papa is he? His kitchen. I always said it was a crop. Let's jump in here. I think that's fairly safe. Um, so we kind of need that key. Which we knew we put on a round bluish ta table. I think. Or not. No, oh, that. I can't, I, I can't recall he put his key somewhere. He's asleep. Jump. I heard him move. in the bathroom and I have a feeling he is coming out of there rather soon so I think it's us who's going to stick here for a while where's he going I dropped my flashlight. I really dropped my flashlight. I did. Crap. I thought for a moment I could throw something at him. And I was so, so wrong. At least I do have a toothbrush. Which is more than I could say. But I. It's more than I have. Crap. Go way too fast, neighbor. You just threw a tomato at me. Like, how many milk and tomatoes do you have that you can't keep throwing these things at me? Like, I would love to hit you, but you're like really oversized toothbrush. If that's my hand and that's a toothbrush, then I don't want to know what kind of big mouth you have or whether you use this toothbrush for something else in the bathroom. I actually broke open that window. Where is he? I can't see him, which is a little bit sad. Alright, that's an easy way for us to get in. That's a very easy way for us to get in. Where is he? Is he on the porch? He's outside. Okay, so that means I shouldn't move right now. It's good that I found these closets because that's basically like safe points for me to be in. Compared to like just Trying to hide behind the couch. Hmm. Anything else where I haven't looked? The main place I haven't looked is in the kitchen. Hmm.
rush at him. I do have a muck. I mean, it's still something. It's better than nothing. So at least we have a muck when we start next time. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We came a whole lot further than last time. We kind of explored the whole downstairs area of this tiny house. Um, I am really curious to see what else we are going to find. Like, we were looking for those keys because, like, his bedroom seems to be locked. Or, I think that's the basement, by the way. The basement seems to be locked, and also the door in the far back seems to be locked, which probably leads upstairs. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. If you got any tips from me here at Hello Neighbor, or you have an awesome suggestion for another game that I really should have a look into, let me know in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day, and I see you guys next time.